How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'd like to answer a fitness question. There is no doubt that the secret to maximizing strength gains is both time and effort spent in the gym. But in addition to the blood, sweat, and tears, it is equally important that you get enough rest. Otherwise, not only will you fail to see gains, but you might actually lose gains. So how long should you rest in between workouts? I am going to answer this question based on what science has shown. If you are interested to see where I'm pulling my information from, feel free to check out the description below. And without further delay, let's get started. At the end of the day, it all comes down to giving your body enough time to restore its glycogen stores and repair the muscle that was broken down during the workout. It has been fairly well documented that as you increase exercise intensity and duration, your body will burn through more glycogen. According to a 2008 study out of the Sport Journal, most people need a minimum of 20 hours to completely restore glycogen levels after a bout of high intensity exercise. It has been shown that elite level athletes are able to recover in slightly less time, which allows them to perform multiple workouts throughout their day. Large doses of high glycemic index carbohydrates immediately after your workout are key to replenishing your glycogen levels faster and fully recovering. So your body needs roughly a day to replenish its energy storage, but how much time does it need to rebuild your muscle fibers? Let's take a closer look. Muscle recovery time is influenced by the same factors as glycogen replenishment. However, in this case, the amount of weight you're lifting is the largest factor. Your body has three different types of muscle fibers, type 1A, type 2A, and type 2B. Type 1 are referred to as your slow twitch fibers. And although they aren't capable of generating much force, they are fatigue resistant and are able to recover fairly quickly after contracting. Your type 2 fibers, known as fast twitch, are the opposite, capable of generating high amounts of force, but fatigue very quickly and take much longer to recover than your type 1 fibers. Simply put, the heavier and more intense the lifting you do, the more recovery time your body needs. The American College of Sports Medicine suggests 48 hours of recovery time after a bout of resistance training, but this number is dependent on a number of factors, like how much sleep you get per day, your nutritional habits, and your stress levels. So taking into consideration glycogen replenishment and muscle rebuilding, how much time do you need? Let's find out. The bottom line is that there is no clear-cut answer to this question. The best way to determine whether or not you're getting enough recovery time between your workouts is to track your progress. If you are lifting more and more weight after each workout, chances are you're probably giving your body enough time to fully recover. But if you are not seeing improvements or losing gains, it might not be a bad idea to give your body another day or two to regroup. How much rest do you guys take after each workout? Feel free to let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe. In any case, thank you all so much for watching, and stay strong.